Good morning, folks. Uh, still in Poland, um, probably one of the most famous parts of Poland for most people, infamous. Uh, we're at Auschwitz and uh, actually in a hotel car park called the Imperial. It's a uh, 10 zloty, Polish zloty a day to stay in a car park and uh, it's very central right next door to uh, the visitor centre. The hotel has been really nice, like I say, let us stay here for two nights now and um, we have pretty much uh, eaten there every day. The meals are so cheap, nice food. Breakfast is about six pounds unlimited a day. So, oh, and there's Archie. You saying hello, Archie? Hi, buddy. <laughs> so yeah, if you do come here, which obviously I think most people would want to, to understand a little bit more about what happened and also pay the respects as we're doing, then uh, this is an ideal location for that.
Good morning guys, just on this uh, little campsite here in Krakow for a few days now and just like Auschwitz if you wanted to go out for a few hours and explore without the dogs we prefer to go somewhere where it's secure so we can leave Coop in the van and there's not going to be people bothering it you know sort of cars banging the doors next to it or traffic driving around and stuff like that so that's why yeah we come to this little campsite right now there's a little hotel here a lot of the campsites are like this they're open all year but there's a hotel and then the campsites kind of off the back of it so uh, yeah they do evening meals breakfasts uh, you've got toilets showers loo emptying point the usual basic services um, and it's uh, 20 euros a night uh, that includes electric and uh, water and all that kind of stuff as well so yeah i'll put the link down below to this one and um, if you're ever in the Krakow area it's a good one to stay at how's your new camera working out for you learning curve learning curve yeah Look good yeah see right now my camera i could watch the tram i could watch you statue i can do everything yeah but all you do is press a button it's like stupid mode. Put the in it. She's not offending anybody that might have one of these then. Don't care. I don't care because I know the people that have them, nearly everyone who's got one of them has got something like this as well. Uh, what, like a Mandy? Like a Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers guys, come on, let's get around. <laughs> cheers, come on. Cheers, get the camera. Cheers. Isn't that nice? Bit of tackle there, babe. Hey, hey, thank you. New fishing rod, eh? Aye, decathlon special. Getting and into this, aren't you now? Aye, I've managed to decant a lot of stuff out of here into that. So I literally just have this. Ooh. So that will do nicely. And then obviously my backup stuff. Yeah. Because it's not like we live in a van of anything with limited space, is it? <laughs> so yeah, we stopped off at Decathlon the other day just to uh, get a bit of an update. We're actually looking for sub boards. Mm. They don't seem to sell them in the shops. Yeah, apparently you can order them in, but you have to pay for them in order to order them in. I just want to see one yeah. before, before I do it and see the size of the the actual flattened package to see whether that fits in the back okay. We'll find them somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Mm. What well, we spent yesterday going around Krakow. Yeah. Nice little uh, city town it's a city i think city. we just did the old town part yeah. of the city um but we had lunch in the square which is beautiful brilliant pizzas like mm. amazing pizzas um and some lovely beer and we walked around and saw the cathedral and mm. all the castle and, all castle and stuff yeah it was a beautiful place absolutely nice we, place. we couldn't give it the attention it needed i think because of the amount of time we could leave the dogs for um but yeah well worth it and uber to the rescue it would have been a little bit of a faff with the uh, kind of, yeah we were thinking of cycling in, yeah but then obviously because rob and alex came as well we thought well we'll get the tram in and then we looked at it and it's like 
there's seven different swap overs between trams and buses yeah and a little bit of a walk in between each one and it would have been easier just to walk in at that yeah. point and then we read a review on the campsite didn't we where someone said oh yeah the just campsite guy uh, got us an uber and we're like uber so, okay it's yeah. like three quid or something to get in Damn for the four cheap. of us brilliant so yeah I keep easy. forgetting about how easy Uber is. You don't even have to know where you are. You just put a pin on a map. It's like, you got to be in a place that has Uber. Yes, That's yes, that is, that, is a, that is a good start. It is. Yeah. So, yeah. And today we are off to Slovakia. Yay. And we're actually doing proper YouTube work today because we've been so bad at YouTube for the past three weeks. Yeah, we've been having a jolly. And we actually haven't, well, I've not sat down and done edit any editing at all we're going to sit there for probably a week and edit about five videos that need doing yep so yeah there's lots and lots of work and um just life admin and stuff like that and it needs to be caught upon because we have literally been having a jolly um started off being really good with um getting videos done and everything and then we just had too much fun so we're going to wave goodbye to alex and rob maybe see him again maybe down the line maybe bulgaria um, but for now they're off to uh, go and hunt Vampires and werewolves on a mission to find a post office because we've not posted any stickers out for a bit we've got 11 to go out at the minute uh, so sorry if you've been waiting but i am in this beautiful little village town town trying to uh flowers um trying to find the post office so i've got me sat nav going so that should be telling me where i should be going and when and hopefully i can get these done because we're hoping to escape up into the mountains it's a while camping for a few days so uh, there's not going to be any post offices up there i'm sure so yeah it should be good i like a little mooch about when john's faffing i i don't know what he does but yeah good stuff i think i've just found john's shop badass <laughs> so we found a post office got all of these ready to go i hand them to the lady and she stamps them and send them off so i can't do my usual posty thing um so so yeah these are all good to go so anyone that's ordered one in the last couple of weeks then they're on the way so there we go that's the town we're in Ruz, Ruz on Barok. maybe something like that it's beautiful another day and another country another flag and this one it's slovakia all right then come on all right and it's it's easy to see which way is the right way up on this one. Oh, because it got a little crest on it as well. Yeah. Ooh. 
Yes, to those uh, eagle-eyed viewers, <laughs> we'll remove the wonky neck, so thanks very much, Bursner, um, <laughs> and rearrange the flags so they're a bit more, how can we say, um, aligned yes. now. With they're the, out of order. With the red, you know. Yeah, they are out of order now, but I mean, so are we. <laughs> okay, you are. I am. I know you are. You said you are. What am I? Out of order. Out of order. Out so of there order. we go. So hopefully, sometime in the next few days, Hungary, and then Romania, Bulgaria, Bulgaria and Turkey. then Turkey, and, and then, then we start adding the others at the bottom for next year. Ooh. Exciting. I have to say, there's some countries that we've visited where I've had a thought of a country in my head, like what it's going to be like. And I think both Mandy and I had no idea that uh, Slovakia would be like this. No. Like, no idea at all. It's just stunned us. <laughs> but yeah, this is an epic little park up. Hopefully you park up for a day or two. Uh, I've got lots of videos to edit. As you can see, it's a very open area. Lovely, lovely skyline, which means that we should get good solar pretty much all day. And the weather forecast for this area is good. So we don't have to worry about power and all that kind of stuff. We can get all the power we need from the sun. Hi, buddy. Have you been having a play on the ski slopes? Did you go skiing with Mummy? Did you? Oh. Right, come on anyway, I've got work to do and you promised me... Leek and potato soup. Yeah, baby. Are you, uh, are you all right if we stay here for a few days? Are they going to be all right? It's horrendous. I don't know how you expect me to cope with these conditions. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know later when it's about minus seven? Yeah. Yeah, you might think again about... Right now it's all right. What is it now? It is 14 degrees. Oh, it's lovely. I've only nice. got my hat on because I've, my hair's still a bit wet from this morning, but uh, yeah. Got a diesel heater. Yeah. Who cares? We'll be fine, won't we? Yeah, we checked the internet speed yet. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, we might have to move. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like only like a thousand meg upload or something? Uh, it's only 70.9 download and only 11 and a half meg upload yeah borderline so, then yeah borderline working that what we might have to do is stay here longer just so that we can uh, upload the videos damn it all right <laughs> come on then can i drink his buddy let's go get drinks yeah. yeah. look at the place there look at it so why we are on this beautiful mountain top in ski zone land. <laughs> I start ski that again, babe. 
Ah, oh, yes, we're in Slovakia and I'm hunkering after just a bit of comfort food because we've been, we have been eating out, you've seen it all. Um, and I've been chucking very, very easy stuff together to do things because we've been too busy having lots and lots of fun. Um, we've taken a little bit of step back from the fun to get some work done. And on that note, I am going to be making a very, very simple leek and potato soup. Leeks, potatoes, soup. Ta-da! <laughs> oh. Chop up a leek, fry it up in some a little bit of butter and some oil. Chop up potatoes small, just so they cook quicker so you're not wasting your gas. Um, fry them all together for a little bit. Put enough stock just to cover it. You can use chicken stock if you want to. I use veggie stock. Loads of salt and pepper and cook it on low for half an hour. If you've got a stick blender, just give it a bit of a blend around. And that makes it you don't need to put anything else in there no cream nothing to thicken it up nothing at all um don't rinse your potatoes after you've sliced them because the starches from them will help thicken up your soup it literally is that easy chop your leeks fry them in butter and oil add the potatoes in the pan stir them around for a bit pour your stock on till everything's covered and cook for half an hour i will show you in a little bit how well that is going to go with this lovely bread that I bought from Tesco's. When it's and buttered as well. Mm, it might not make it to the Explain actual to meal. that you bought it in Tesco's from Slovakia. Yes, I was in Tesco's in Slovakia and I forgot to record anything around there because it was very, very busy and I just needed to get my shop done. And it was, wasn't like this Tesco's that we've seen in Spain before now where everything is English and everything is branded Tesco's. This was, it's just like a standard store that, that is called Tesco's over here. There was branded stuff in there as well, but it wasn't everything. However, these were nine cents each. Makes Nonsense. No sense. Makes no sense to me. <laughs> um, but yes, I managed to get some juice and some pop and some deodorants and things as well while I was in there, which is what I was looking for. So yeah, it was always a, always led by the supermarket. So I walked in, saw the bread literally being put straight out of the oven onto the stand, and I decided we're having soup for tea. Soup's me. Isn't that good? Soup's you. I don't know if you can see the view behind John's head, mind. Smooth as silk. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth as something else beginning with this. How dare you? I don't say those things. So I've got my beer, we'll get some cooking done and then John's going to get some work done and I've got a few little bits to do, making some changes to the sticker pack. So the next time we get an order in I'll show you what the changes are going to be and then hopefully a night of catching up on telly. Watch a bit more of that weird thing. What was it? Squid Games! Oh, what do you all think about Squid Games? Let us know. Because we're still very confused by it. Yes. Confused and unsure. From Slovakia. <laughs> oh yeah. A little bit of bread to dunk in there too. <laughs> that looks happy, babe. It does look really good. And you know what the best thing is? Um, You might not eat all yours so I can have that as well. No. Okay. However, this is all I made. I set out to make enough soup for one portion each because we've got no room in the fridge to keep leftovers. That's significant. It is. You made just enough food. Just enough food. High five. It that's, had to happen once, didn't it? That's first. <laughs> so, yeah. All right then. Let's go. Well, hey, I don't like it cold. Uh, bread is buttered, so in the nice hot leek and potato soup, we will have warm bread with butter melting in it too. Mm. Mm. And for anybody wanting to know quantities, it was a leak that big. How, how big was it? That big. It's so like the fish you caught. It's about 30 centimetres long. <laughs> I haven't caught any fish yet. People keep saying. Um, and the equivalent of, I reckon, two baking potatoes. But I use little ones, so I chucked a lot in there. So that was it. Yeah. Cool. But yeah. Right. Just get donkey. Mm. Donk. Absolutely favourite soup. And you know what's really funny? I've just been looking on Instagram and Dave and Mal 
Um, they're eating homemade soup and bread as well, but they've got toast. Oh, yeah? Mm. Do you know you love Synergy? Mm. When was the first time I ate this soup? And it wasn't made... It was made for us. In Scotland? Yeah. And we were in, like, an alpine lodge. Yeah. Because we'd been sledging all day and we were knackered. Yeah. And we had leek and potato soup. And? Surrounded by buildings and trees like this. Look where we are now. Oh, we're pink sky. Yeah, sky. Sunset's epic, by the way. But... We are on a ski slope in Slovakia. There Instead of Scotland. Aye. So, there you go. Yeah, you chewing. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Bit of synergy for you there, anyway. Mm. Yeah. By the way, on that trip, I broke my coccyx. But coccyx? Yeah. Yeah, he did. We won't talk about that again. No. Excuse me being out of breath, but that's where we've just come from. The van's down there. And then we've got to this bit, and it's got a freezing, so I don't think the sun gets to it, but look. It's frosty as anything. It's proper crispy. And there's a random ski jump and a hotel. Well, yeah, this, look. That is crispy frost. So pretty. What do you think? Is it frosty? Is it? 